Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. I don't know about you, but I love to paint abstracts. I feel like they're so freeing. There's no right or wrong. You know, there's so much, it's so much joy creating them. It's just playing, you know, with all kinds of techniques and color. So today we're playing, playing with that one trick wet and wet technique where you wet the back and then you wet the front and then you're just putting on color thickly, spraying it and creating a really cool atmospheric you know, kind of landscape abstract, super simple. This is like less than 10 minutes. And so this is where you can be less intimidated if you want to do a really large painting. This is a 10 by 14, but you could do even bigger than that, the same technique. You just need a bigger kind of piece of like plexiglass or plastic. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Tell me if you love to do abstracts, you hate them, if they drive you crazy, or you find them relaxing. I'd like to hear your comments about this. Also, check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, exclusive tutorials, um, and a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel. So like every Thursday, I have an exclusive tutorial that's not on YouTube. It's usually longer and more in-depth. Um, so, it's, you know, different things that usually come with traceables or reference photos on there too as well. And you can check it out in the little blip, boop, up here in a second. So without further ado, let's get painting some abstracts. This is going to be fun. All right, let's go over supplies. I'm using a 10 by 14 piece of uh, Arsh 100% cotton paper. I'm gonna be wetting it down and putting it on this portable easel that I bought. So it's like, just if you have a plastic surface like this, you could just get a piece of plexiglass from like uh, any, you know, hardware store kind of thing, like a nice, just plastic, and then you can move it around. So you don't need to tape it. This is that wet and wet technique where you wet it down the back and it just adheres to it and then you can move it around. Uh, we have my palettes here. We're playing with like burnt umber, paints gray, some cadmium red, a crappy old credit card. I'm going to use a sea sponge to wet the back, but if you could just use a big br brush, that's fine. And we're playing with some big brush. I have this big cake brush. I have never used this thing. <laughs> and I have a this bigger one, a little small one. I'm going to play around with some of those today. Let's just see what happens. And you're going to need a spray bottle, of course. So this is just fun, relaxing. And you need this kind of paper to do this kind of like wet and wet stuff because the, the bleed from the Arsh paper is the best. Um, other papers, mm, you, well, you could use a really good like block. Um, I have Bohang and I have a, another one from Aquarello Watercolor that's really good. So it has to be good quality, 100% cotton, you know, cold press with a nice tooth on it. So I'm gonna get the, this paper, the back of it wet. I'm gonna dip my sea sponge in this big old bucket of water here. It's hard to see everything. Let me see if you can see that water. There it is. It's a messy desk. And I flip it over and just get the back of this wet. I think the sea sponge works really great. It's a really nice, just a one kind of wetness consistency as opposed to a brush. And it goes really fast. And then you just flip it and it sticks like glue. It's fantastic. There's that one trick video that I have um, to keep your things wet on wet. And then you, now we can use the same thing. You want to use this instead of a brush and do it again. We have wet on wet. Just love this technique. It's it's fantastic. And then you just let it dry completely. It dries nice and flat. You don't have any buckling. Kind of saves you from uh, <laughs> having to stretch the paper. But then again, you know, it's wet and wet. It stays wet for a while, but we want it to. So got that all done. So we're gonna just take, you, oh, if you don't have a credit card, excuse me, I'm gonna move. you can grab some old crappy paper, and rip it and tear it. So I'm just gonna take some of my paints gray, get it on this card. And you can use any colors you want, but I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to go across. This is just going to be a fun, simple, easy, really thick. It's basically right, really see how thick that paint is in the tube. And I'm going to grab some burnt umber. I love burnt umber. It's like my favorite brown. Now you can make this thick and thin. 
I think I've done something like this before. We're just gonna play with it again. We're just gonna spray differently, do different things. And I'm gonna grab some yellow. I think I might mix it a little bit though. Put some in the red. I have some old, uh, red cadmium red light. This is just uh, cadmium yellow deep. Throwing that in there. I'm gonna put some cadmium red light in here. Just a little bit of red kind of peeking through. And maybe another blue. Uh, and remember, this stays wet pretty long, so. I've got yellow all over the place. Why does I always manage to get yellow everywhere? <laughs> I'm gonna grab some ultramarine blue. So I'm see, I'm just grabbing, squeezing out the tube because you really kind of need to. Oh, here's that yellow paint. It just, it's like the bane of my existence. So, here's the blue. Put some blue in here, right in there. The pan's gray. All right, now we're gonna play. So you need a big spray bottle or a small one. And we're just gonna start to spray a little bit. And then we're gonna move the paint around. I'm really spraying it down. Can you see how much spray I'm spraying here? Let's see what happens. Start moving the paint. And you can use a brush too. I'm just tilting it. It's really thick on that end. Whoa. It's like surfing. Look how cool this is. Oh my God. This is taking minimal effort, guys. It's really spraying that down on that side. Woo. Like a dark and stormy sky. Now if it drips off a lot, just take your paper towel or whatever towel you have. Grab paper towel. Kind of lift that. There you go. On the edge. I don't want that on the edge. Just kind of sitting down there. It's just kind of sitting down there. See how it just sits down there? I don't want that doing that. I just kind of swipe it with my paper towel. Wow, that's so cool. Now we're going to do the opposite. Now you don't have to use spray bottle because maybe the spray bottle is too much. I'm going to grab my cake brush. Ooh, let's try this brush. Just tapping it on the edge here with some water. Okay. Now we're going to tilt it this way and this way. Gonna lift up some of that paint that's dripping up so you didn't get on the side. Um, I'll just manipulate it with the brush a little bit. I'm gonna clean off my brush, add a little water, play moving this paint around. Just really moving that around. See, just kind of swip, swiping it down to the left. Look at that, that's pretty. I still see a lot of pigment in here with the blue. I'm gonna try and manipulate that blue a little bit. It's just sitting there, it's just like thick paint. It's gonna get wet. And over in here, I can still see a lot of the blue. Let's see what happens. Oh, that blue is now coming to shine. Look at this. You guys could create really cool like abstracts in like two seconds. This literally took like a minute. The, the look of it. Oh my God. I'm just gonna tap it. I'm gonna clean up my brush and tap it a little bit. I'm gonna tilt it down. If you wanna remove some of that, just take your towel. Oh my God. So cool. I'm so excited, I can't tell. <laughs> I just love moving the paint. I'm gonna grab Another one of these brushes, just kind of move it around. I want that paint to move. The blue is still there, sitting there. It's really thick pigment. And then the, this paint's gray over here is really thick. I'm just gonna tap this a little bit and then move it downward, see what happens. 
go back and tap it a little more. What? Maybe that's a little too much. I kind of like what I had and I'm kind of messing it up. So I'm just going to lift it up a little bit and then we'll just move it. So it's a great light gray, just subtle. Isn't that just the prettiest thing ever? Right? Now, at this point, see, you can just, you're going to have to learn to like figure out where you're going to stop and leave it. You can scrape like a little horizon line in there if you want to do that or add some more color. I mean, if you want to play around with, I don't want to go too crazy. There's some like nice red in here, but I might want to add some yellow. You didn't really see much yellow. So you can just take a little brush that you have. I'm going to grab some yellow. A little water down. I'm just going to put a little yellow in here. Let's see what happens. Just going to play around with adding a little bit of yellow. And I'll clean up my brush and add some water. Now, look at this bright yellow. See, it's doing this stripped thing on the side. You're just going to have to lift up the paint. If you take the towel or just kind of take your paintbrush, kind of swoop it. One of the little yellow in there. Some hint of yellow. So now at this point, you really either you're going to add more color in the sky, maybe. I don't know. I might add some more ultramarine blue. Just going across, I can bleed that down a little bit. Oh yeah. The spray always helps move the paint much faster. One again. Ooh, it just moves and just drips off. It's like a moving <laughs> species. And then I'll just grab the paper towel and I'll lift the excess. Yeah, now that looks fantastic. So at this point in juxture, you really kind of have to like figure out when to stop to, to keep moving the paint around. I'm just gonna clean up my edges a little bit and let it dry naturally. I mean, just like this alone is so cool. It literally took less than 10 minutes, right? And you have this really cool landscape abstract. And you can go and add some like elements if you want, like if you want to. Trees, maybe scrape the horizon with your credit card, play around with that. I'm kind of loving this. I don't know if I want to add something in here though. I don't know. I might feel like I might ruin it. <laughs> but I love this. But I feel like there's something missing here. I don't know why my eye keeps going here. It says, do something. So I might grab some uh, burnt umber. Start playing with play, putting that in some paints gray. Just touch. See, I'm just wiping it with the, the hake brush. I think that's how you say it hake. Hawk thick paint going over in here. Just seeing what happens. And add a little bit of blue. It's just something I want my eye, to go, I want the eye to go back and forth. So this is that big dark area. So I want the viewer to go back and forth with this picture. So I'm adding some more blue. Okay. And now I'm going to tilt it this way. Let's see what happens. It's not really moving much. I'm going to flip it around and move it. Now I could spray it and have it move that way. And then see it move. Wow, it's like a growing. Look at that. Go down this way, go this way, go this way. So cool. Just drip, drip, drip. See what happens. 
Oh, yes. Loving this. Let me get down some more. I love it. It's dripping right down to my table here. And now I feel like your eye is going back and forth, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Now I love that. And now I have to say to you guys, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to let it dry. But I, I feel like I needed to go back and forth. It was good. Isn't that really nice over here? I love this look. I just needed something over in here. And at this point, you can let it dry. You can kind of go in and add more. I have some hairs in here. It's hilarious. Probably from the brush. Um, if you wanted to add some darker tones to here and then put some trees in, it's up to you. Um, I might want to go back in and add a little darker color. I don't know. Maybe a little more Payne's Gray. So I'll take that brush again. Get that Payne's Gray while it's still damp. So that kind of, kind of matches this little section over here. I'm going to move that around. It's going to slowly move because it's kind of thick. So I'm tilting this way up. Still sitting there. So we're going to have to say, come on, paint, move. Oh, yeah. That's moving now. Loving that. Drip, drip, drip there. Holding it, tilting it. And you see how I didn't tape it? I just put that water in the back of this paper and it's still sticking. I'm moving it all the way down this way too. It's slowly moving. You can't really see it much on the camera, but it's slowly moving. I kind of like that. So you could put a nice tree or two or three, but I don't know. I might just like leave it like this. I mean, an abstract in less than 10 minutes. You can do some scraping, um, like I said. We do credit card. You'll see the lines. So I feel like that's the horizon and you see like a field just scraping across. kind of cool and the paint just kind of folds right into where they're scraped like those little lines but really you can make an abstract in less than 10 minutes that's a wow factor imagine doing it much larger if so if you were intimidated by using a really large piece of paper try using a large piece of paper I'm telling you create some really cool stuff or grasses. Could be really cool. I'm scraping like those little grasses. Lots of fun. <laughs> I don't know, I love it. I feel like I don't want to touch it anymore because I'll ruin it. And that's when you, it's kind of hard sometimes to put things down. You know, you're like, oh, you want to keep going and keep going. So practice, you know, if you feel like that just doesn't seem like enough for you. You want more. You want more. I don't know. It's up to you. You have to go by your gut. And I feel like I love the way this looks. It's very kind of, you know, mystical, magical, and fun. And if I go in and try and play with trees, I could try and play with trees. I might ruin it. We can try and play with trees. So maybe I'll take a picture now <laughs> before I ruin it. So if I did put any kind of tree situation in, I'm just gonna take some, uh, my paint here. Seems like all my paintbrushes got paint on them <laughs> from my little, <clears throat> from that little card thing. Um, dark green, I might use actually ultramarine blue and some yellow makes this like kind of like an olive green and I grab the Prussian blue and the yellow I don't know let's see if I add some green tippy taps it might need to be sprayed again Yeah, I don't know. 
have something like this. I might ruin it. Grabbing some Prussian blue. Nope, I don't like it. And you know what you can do if you start to do this and you say to yourself, you don't like it and you think you're gonna, you ruined your picture, don't freak out. Just go and grab some paint with some water on it. Move it around, lift it up the paper towel close by or a towel go back and add your blue look at that I add the ultramarine blue and I'm just going to spray it a little bit again and it will move it will move and it won't look so bad and I'll fix it again by taking my paintbrush and kind of manipulating it and look, it's like it never happened. So yeah, the tree's not gonna happen there. Maybe you could put a nice cool branch in here, but I think it's best just to keep it, <laughs> let laying dogs lie, right? I love this look. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff to it if you want, but this is a super simple, relaxing, 10 minute abstract that you could do really simple techniques using the thick paint and just spraying and then taking the back wetting it putting it down play around with all different colors you don't even have to do like this horizon line you could have done like diagonals there's so many different variables and see what happens just moving the paint around spraying it all that fun stuff so i hope this is a fun simple way to create a nice abstract for you and you know, just get you out of like your comfort zone doing abstracts. Some people say, I can't do them. I suck at them. That was so easy. You just putting that painting with the, I just use like old paper that was crappy. If you don't have a credit card, I just, you know, it's, you're using a thick amount of pa paint, but it wasn't too much. And then you're just spraying, right? Once you, of course, I wet this whole thing down first, but the look is amazing. I love it. And you can experiment with more colors. Right? It doesn't have to be these deep, dark, mysterious colors. So thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. I hope you're experimenting. I hope you're trying new things. This is the way to like grow and learn as an artist and just have some fun. It's all about the fun. You know, you need to have fun with your paint. I love this. I mean, I could, I could do a huge one of these and hang it on my wall. You know, it could be more like ocean kind of looking scene. And you can give to somebody who was a house by the sea. <laughs> All right. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll speak to you soon.